Hey, does anyone else remember how back in 2019 on the campaign trail, Joe Biden claimed that Republicans would definitely want to work with him? And he even hysterically claimed that Republicans would have an epiphany once Trump was out of office and that they'd come to their senses. Mm, yeah, I remember that too. Fast forward to today and that's not happening. Republicans still don't want to work with him and he can't even get members of his own party to work with him. Now, I remember the media and Democratic Party establishment figures telling us that we had to vote for Joe Biden and not Bernie Sanders because, see, Bernie Sanders, his goals were just far too ambitious. So with Joe Biden, maybe it's not necessarily the policies that you want. Maybe they're more watered down rather than opting for Medicare for all. You opt for a Medicare expansion. So water it down and these less ambitious goals will definitely get passed. Oh, what's that? Joe Biden can't even get that done. So, I mean, at this point, he's basically given up on being president. I genuinely don't even know what he's doing. Is he just playing Scrabble in the Oval Office with Jill? I don't know what he's doing. Why is he even there? He might as well leave. Now, I say this because after Kirsten Sinema unilaterally killed voting rights legislation last Thursday, he subsequently surrendered, essentially, saying, yeah, I don't know if I could get this done. Take a look. The filibuster reform, can you get this done? questions about complicated subjects like can you get this done i hope we can get this done the honest to god answer is i don't know whether we can get this done is this mic on i guess anyway yeah and uh sure. and i'm not sure either but anyway i hope we can get this done but i'm not sure but one thing for certain one thing for certain like every other major civil rights bill that came along if we miss the first time, we can come back and try it a second time. We missed this time. We missed this time. And the state legislative bodies continue to change the law, not as to who can vote, but who gets to count the vote. Count the vote. Count the vote. It's about election subversion, not just whether or not people get to vote. Who? counts the vote. That's what this is about. That's what makes this so different than anything else we've ever done. I don't know that we can get it done, but I know one thing. As long as I have a breath in me, as long as I'm in the White House, as long as I'm engaged at all, I'm going to be fighting to change the way these legislatures have moved. Thank you. How reassuring. Wow, that makes me feel so much better to see the president say, yeah, I understand what's going on here. I know that uh, the Republican Party is literally trying to subvert the will of voters in their states. So I know that democracy is at stake, but I don't know if I could get this done. But don't worry, he'll fight. Oh, okay, the same way that you fought for the $15 an hour minimum wage, the same way that you fought for Build Back Better, the same way that you're fighting COVID by now just letting it tear through the country. That was Donald Trump's strategy, by the way. I just, I don't know why he would say this. So people are saying, oh, well, this is like a moment of brutal honesty here. He's just leveling with the American people. You're the leader. You are the president of the United States. You don't say things like that. You say, yes, this is an obstacle, but I will get this done. Because not getting voting rights done is not an option. Because if we don't accomplish this, democracy dies. And under my watch, that's not going to happen. So we are going to get this done. But Joe Biden... He just, he can barely even be bothered to try to wake himself up. I mean, throughout the first half of that video, you saw him basically mumbling. And then finally, he remembered, oh yeah, I'm president, so I have to, I have to speak with a little bit of, um, I don't know, um, certainty. <laughs> I just, I don't know what's going on, what's happening in the White House. Now, uh, let me just state here, none of this is surprising to me, but I just want to remind the folks, the centrists on television, the individuals like Joy Reid, who brought on body language interpreters to smear Bernie Sanders, the individuals who claimed that Joe Biden was the only one who could save America. What do you have to say for yourselves now? Because you brainwashed the entire Democratic Party base and got them to believe that Joe Biden was the only way out of this mess. And now what? We're seeing our institutions collapse. Joe Biden can't even get a fucking vaccine mandate that isn't even a full mandate without the Supreme Court striking it down. And we may even see Roe v. Wade overturned this year. Is Joe Biden even talking at packing the Supreme Court? Since he can't get anything done legislatively, is he even considering some additional executive actions that might help the American people? But yet we see in various news articles about how worried the Democratic Party establishment is about the base not turning out, about 2022's elections being a bloodbath. And yet what are they doing to fix that? Absolutely 
fuck all. Joe Biden has been a failure. And when we remind people about this, inevitably, if there's an, another progressive that comes along in a future Democratic Party primary, the media is going to forget it all. And they're just going to say the same fucking shit. Oh, well, you have to go for the moderate because they can actually get their agenda accomplished. Yeah. How's that working out for you? Not even getting his milk toast agenda accomplished, which again, we were told that you can't be bold because that just will never pass, but they can't even get through their own agenda. And Joe Biden, surprisingly, came in with a lot of momentum. He came in with a high approval rating. And then now, a year later, he's just given up on being president. And I say he's given up because what the fuck is he doing? COVID is ripping through the country. And yet, we won't even consider closing schools. We're not going to pay people to stay home. A lockdown is completely out of the question He's just, he's done. Why do we even have a fucking president? We are seeing our entire system collapse before our very eyes. And the Democratic Party is basically saying, eh, it's too hard. We elected you to do something, anything for fuck's sake. Let me just, let me just explain to you what Joe Biden's failure means for the country. This is from Jeff Stein of the Washington Post. He tweets out, this means likely divided rule for many years. GOP hold on SCOTUS can block progressive laws and multiple compounding national crises in housing, climate, health, education, etc. with no way out. That's what Joe Biden and the Democratic Party establishment's failure means. We see encroaching authoritarianism and fascism from, from the far right. And we have Nancy Pelosi bringing out the fucking Hamilton cast to sing. Jen Uger made a great point about how Nancy Pelosi is basically trying to sing away fascism. She did this on the uh, anniversary of January 6th. So basically, the reason why I'm making this video is because I just want to tell all the centrists and corporate Democrats, we fucking told you so, you absolute ghouls. We told you so. We told you that Joe Biden would be a failure. And a year later, we've already been proven right. And our system is already designed to basically fuck over most Americans. We have an undemocratic Senate. We have a Supreme Court that has gone rogue. We have electoral institutions like the, uh, the Electoral College that is undermining the will of people, and now we have a fascistic authoritarian Republican Party that's literally trying to subvert democracy so they can install an authoritarian strongman if he indeed loses in 2024. And Joe Biden's response is, oh, well, I don't know if I can get this done. Well, on the campaign trail, you said that you could get this done. And the media told us that you can get this done. Barack Obama literally intervened in the Democratic Party primary to get everyone else to drop out and endorse Joe Biden for him a conservative corporate Democrat Voltron, and a year in office, and you've already fucking face-planted. Yeah. So save this video, and remember, whenever the corporate Democrats trot out some sort of an argument against progressives, even at the congressional level, when they talk about how Nina Turner can't go to Congress because Chantel Brown, she's just the more practical one. Her agenda can actually get codified into law. Remember this. Because corporate Democrats are failures who are incapable of governing. And if you can't even get your own fucking party to go along with your basic milk toast agenda, you can't do jack fucking shit. So I don't know how we go forward as a country. Do we just continue to decline until the regime itself collapses? I just, I don't know because Joe Biden, he knew he had a limited window of time to act to not just save democracy, but maybe do something about climate change. And he has fucking failed catastrophically so the consequences of him not meeting this moment will basically uh ripple throughout history for decades and there's just no urgency whatsoever he's half asleep probably fucking playing with his balls in the oval office i genuinely don't know what he's doing he, he's just sleeping i don't know and let's be honest here we're all spotlighting joe manchin and kirsten cinema but if it weren't them it would be some other ghoul john tester or some other democrat who's standing in the way of their agenda there's always an excuse the filibuster the parliamentarian they just don't fight weak liberals are always the pathway to fascism and we're seeing it again so it's horrifying. Uh, every single corporate Democrat, every media pundit who blasted Bernie Sanders and scolded the left, they should they should own this. Joy Reid, Rachel Maddow, 
Chris Matthews, you all should own this. But do you know what they're saying? The reason why everything is going south currently is because the Democratic Party has shifted too far to the left. Joe Biden has embraced progressives. That's the general consensus. So we are in a situation where this is essentially idiocracy, except I think that watching idiocracy, you'll see that we might actually be dumber than the characters in idiocracy. Because even if in idiocracy, they were literally watering crops with fucking Gatorade and couldn't understand why nothing was growing, we're facing a climate catastrophe and we're just sitting on our asses doing fuck all about it. We're facing extinction and we're just, we're okay with it. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, this is a very dark time in American history. And once Democrats lose probably the House, maybe the Senate too, at the end of this year, then nothing will definitely get accomplished. And then in 2024, Trump will likely become the, the GOP's nominee and he will likely become the president if nothing changes. And then what? He's never going to want to leave office. So I, I just, I, like, it can't possibly get any worse for Democrats to realize the situation. Like, it, let me let me be clear, it could get worse, but no matter how bad it gets, Democrats will still have excuses. Corporate Democrats will still claim that they tried everything. They'll still try to scapegoat the parliamentarian or the left, and the media will be right there to basically say the same shit. I don't even know. So, you know, it's exhausting, but this is... Uh, America, this is what late-stage capitalism does. It hollows out all of society, and its last target is always democracy. And then the system itself collapses. It gets destabilized to the point where nothing functions properly. It's just every person for themselves. And we're in that phase currently. We're in the dystopian late-stage capitalist hellscape that these neoliberal Democrats and Republicans have been fighting for. And this is, this is the end stage of that. So the least that we can do is try to laugh at these idiots who are in charge and, and get some enjoyment out of the collapse of the system, make memes about it. I don't know. But either way, it's it's a scary time. And um, Democrats just aren't up to the challenge. It's either, you know, you can have Democrats who aren't fascists, but completely incompetent or Republicans who are authoritarian explicitly now. And they're evolving, or I should say devolving, from proto-fascists to outright violent fascists. And that's your two options. There's no talks of electoral reform, so we can have multiple parties. There's no talks of even minimal amounts of social democracy. It's just all terrible. And it's sad, but that's where we are, and I have to be honest with you. It's why so many people are just tuning out of politics, because covering this every single day will melt your fucking brain.